there are several ways of going about fishing for steelhead in Michigan, and this spring one favorite way will be fishing from shore. A lot of surf fishing is done around the state. You see, the steelhead make their spawning run in the spring, unlike the salmon that are fall spawners, and they're attracted to almost any stream that is emptying into the Great Lakes. It's a good way to get out there. You can fish in the Great Lakes or you can fish in the streams, but if you have a boat, you're going to want to stick to the bigger rivers, the St. Joe, the Kalamazoo, the Grand, Père Marquette, the Big Manistee on the west side. About the only one that's large enough on the east side is the Osable but there are quite a number of good steelhead streams around the state, not navigable for larger boats, but they're dandy for fishing from shore. Now, again, standing off offshore, getting out in the water with a pair of waders, casting into the surf is one good way, but also fishing in the streams. Now, there are three favorite streams of Gary Marshalls. Gary works for the Michigan Travel Bureau, and he prefers the Platte River off Platte Bay, fishing along the sandbar, Whitney Drain and Lake Huron, just above all gray, called Singing Bridge, Whitney Drain, that's excellent. And for the UP, Thompson Creek is a good bet. Now these are Gary Marshall's favorite hot spots. He says you can catch them there. And he also has a number of tips and techniques, and he's going to share them with us right now. Well, normally what I wear is uh, I wear the red wool for my hunting uh, outfit, and I also have a pair of insulated underwear. So I have my insulated underwear, I have my red wool pants, and then I put the waders over it. And unless uh, it is uh, raining hard or snowing hard, or if you take a little bit of water over, over your uh, waders, you'll find that uh, this will probably be warm enough to weather any of the, the icy, chilly, cold water at that time. Gloves, now that's, there are, I've tried all kinds of gloves. Probably the best method uh, is not to use gloves. Now this is, uh, this is really cold, but uh, I've tried the cotton gloves where I've, I've uh, cut the fingers off. I would have to recommend that this will work. Uh, just a pair of old brown inexpensive cotton gloves where the tips of the fingers cut off uh, will kind of keep the wind from uh, laying your hand. And this is my kind of fishing. You don't need the expensive boat. You don't need the downriggers and the graph. Uh, actually, all you're using uh, will be, as we mentioned, a pair of waders and, a, and a, a rod, something in the oh, eight and a half to nine foot class. Uh, open face spinning reels, closed face work good. So I would say that just about uh, any type of rod or reel, I've seen all kinds of combinations. But just a, a nice, comfortable rod that a person may use bass fishing or, or pike fishing can also be used for catching steelhead. When the terminal tackles, uh, when you talk about main line, you're going to be running this the line that is on your uh, reel. Now, this will be hooked to a, a two-way swivel or a three-way swivel, utilizing the egg sinker or the uh, sliding uh, sinker. From there, you'll probably want to run about uh, six feet, maybe eight feet of uh, some four-pound, if you, if you want to try the four-pound, or you'd want to uh, maybe stick with six or eight-pound. Hook size. Uh, I usually use anywhere from a 10 to a 12, uh, and again, this depends on the style of the hook. Uh, there's many different styles, many sizes, but it's a relatively small hook. And you'll find at this time of year that the fish don't peck, peck, bite, bite. They, they inhale the, uh, the cluster of eggs. So you don't have to worry about the size of the hook because when you, when you hook the fish, usually that small hook will do the job. My way of, of fishing uh, steelhead is to use spawn. Now spawn comes three ways. Either you get them tied up into a spawn sack, uh, you use chunk spawn or, or clusters they call it, or the single egg method. Now the single egg method is a very deadly method. This is just using one salmon egg on a hook. Uh, treble hooks is another way. Uh, number eight, number ten treble hook is a way that some people can take a, a, a cluster of spawn and put it uh, on this hook. You, you more or less embed the hook into the cluster. Uh, and just throw it out and let it lay on bottom. Uh, this is an excellent way of, of taking fish. Uh, it, generally this time of year, the fish are, as I've mentioned, are close to the river mouths and try to fish in the current. Look at the current. See which way the current is flowing. This will be determining on which way the wind is blowing. Uh, the fish will have a tendency to be hanging around in the flow of the stream. This is the area that the fish will, uh, will be hanging. Uh, if you're in an area that, uh, let's say, is rocky 
or maybe we've got some weeds that's laying on the bottom of the, of the lake. Take, uh, take these miniature marshmallows and take this marshmallow and you bite it in half. And you take a part of this marshmallow and you put it on the hook. The biggest effect is the flotation. This will float it up off the bottom. But if you're going to use the marshmallow with spawn, be sure that you're, you have a small uh, BB shot or some type of weight, oh, three, four, five inches up from the hook. Because without that, the marshmallow will float the bait right up to the top of the water. And so uh, very few steelhead will take it off the top, whereas they will take it on the bottom. steelhead uh, of size anywhere from four or six and into November. Now we're going to be talking, especially at Platte Bay, uh, we're going to be talking uh, steelhead up to 18, 20 pounds. And you may be just sitting there holding your rod. Uh, there are people that will put them in rod holders. I prefer to hold my rod because I want this field fish to, to come in and grab it. And it's almost like uh, you've hooked into a torpedo or, or a small whale because when they hit it, they, they're on immediately. They, they're out of the water, they're on their tails, they're jumping, they're splashing, they make some fantastic runs. Uh, and this, uh, this is why I think the steelhead is, is ranked so high among all the fish. Uh, they're an excellent fighter, they're a flashy uh, fish, and above all, they're excellent eating. Well, we're going to be right back to see Gary Marshall catch one of those tail-walking steelhead right after this short message. A lot of Michigan anglers consider the steelhead trout to be the king of game fish. It fights on its tail spectacular aerial battles. When I was filming with Gary Marshall a year ago up in Platte River, one of his favorite spots, we, I filmed one of those battles. You'll probably recognize it as the open and the close of the show. Here it is in its entirety. Michigan Weekend is brought to you by your one-stop shopping store, Myers Thrifty Acres, the place you can buy all your sporting goods and outdoor gear at why pay more prices. Of course, Meyer hopes you can get outdoors this weekend. It's a great place to be, great place to get out and fish, hunt, camp. Next week on Michigan Weekend, we're going to talk about bass fishing, some spectacular bass fishing footage, so join me, won't you? Next week, right here for Michigan Weekend. <laughs>